Apparently there's a lot of work to be done behind the scenes to make sure that states will be able to safely store an eventual COVID-19 va uh, vaccine and make sure that it's done safely. In Waltham, Massachusetts, we can tell you that Thermo Fisher Scientific produces ULT or ultra low freezers that some vaccines will require if they get approved. Alexander Leslie spoke with that company to find out more. Thermo Fisher Scientific says the demand for these freezers is two to three times what it would normally be, and it's prepared to meet a large portion of that demand on a global level. The use of ultra-low freezers has been around for decades. They're used for science and medical research all the time, but we're hearing about them more now as the race for a coronavirus vaccine is putting them in the spotlight. These new mRNA vaccines require uh, these temperatures for the biology of, of those vaccines. And so we are here to support that. Dr. Alex Esmond is the general manager for cold storage at Thermo Fisher Scientific. The company, headquartered in Waltham, Mass, produces the ULT freezer some COVID-19 vaccines will need. These freezers store samples at negative 80 degrees Celsius or negative 112 degrees Fahrenheit. Pfizer says its vaccine needs to be stored at negative 94 degrees Fahrenheit. There are very few vaccines that are managed in a frozen state. And up to now, there has been only one example historically of a vaccine that was managed at ultra low temperatures, and that was Ebola. Thermo Fisher hasn't been waiting for a vaccine to be approved. The company has already been shipping freezers to every state in the country. We adjusted our planning. We adjusted our operational approach. We adjusted how we were going to look at this year and the years to come. Draft vaccination plans for both Massachusetts and Rhode Island indicate an interest in buying these kinds of freezers. Right now, Rhode Island says it only has limited capacity for ultra-low cold storage. I'm Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.